Exciting news. Someone sent me a turbine to test. Thanks, Dan. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Max. I hope you're doing well. A viewer, maybe even a sub, sent me a design to test. The viewer's name is Dan Edmiston. Dan tells me it's from a series of turbines called the Torque Turbines. And just from the looks, uh, I feel like the leaderboard might change drastically today. All right, I guess I'm actually excited for a couple of reasons. One, I'm really happy someone wanted to participate. Two, I have to do a montage because Dan's turbine tried to destroy the wind tunnel on its first run. I don't know if you could see that, but it's trying to wobble itself to death. And I think it's either just not well balanced, which is my fault because I'm not great at things, or the base is too flexible, which funnily enough is also my fault because I'm not good at things. Anyways, I've decided to make the base a bit more rigid by thickening the walls, adding two more screws and moving those screws closer to where they matter. Montage. Got you again. I mean, I did say that there'd be a montage. Well, I hope that fixes the problem because if it doesn't, I'm out of ideas. That was my fault. I guess it was unbalanced. It broke the brand new base too when that happened. I actually thought this might happen, so I printed a backup. Anyways, let's look at the leaderboard. In the first run, it made 0.7273 watts, nearly three quarters of a watt, putting Dan's torque turbine in first place and getting very close to that one watt mark. I think someday soon we might actually hit that mark. Another thing I noticed about this turbine, it produced much more power at lower wind speeds, which I think is an advantage because you don't always have strong constant winds. All in all, very impressive stuff, Dan, and less impressive stuff from me. If you'd like to see more of this type of test, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure I'll have plenty more disasters for you to enjoy. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, thanks, bye.